The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I could take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are some and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Oh, shit. Leading a frontal assault on the lies of the New World Order, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. A lot of times I get hysterical on air. My dad sent me a text last hour. He said, You sound hysterical. Well, you know what? That's real. I was a little bit hysterical last hour. I can get up here and act all stoic and manly and talk real slow. And I'll do that when that's really how I feel. But I think I've been successful at waking up about as many people as anybody has out there. You talk to most people, they say, who woke you up to what's happening in the world? They'll say three names. Alex Jones, Ron Paul, or David Icke. Three very different individuals in many ways, but still we've been the most successful. Why is that? We should study that. We should look at that. And I'm gonna ask David that question in a moment and expand out what this new phase means, but some days I'm totally calm, some days I'm screaming for an hour, not as much as I used to. But I'm not in my comfort zone with what's going on. Our government publicly changing the name to Al-Qaeda. You can hear them in PR boardrooms coming up with this new thing, like Coca-Cola, a new name, ISIS. Makes it sound really cool. They're committing all these crimes, 
and it lets me know what they want to do to me. Wherever Christians are, not big establishment Christians, but old communities of Christians worldwide, the globalists want to go in and exterminate them. And I want to get David Icke's take on that because I have the raw numbers. The UN even admits that's happening and uh, getting a lot of other issues with David Icke. Briefly, we have some amazing supplements, and I didn't even plug anything last hour, skip breaks earlier. This is also how we fund our operation. So buy your war bonds in the info war. Get a prisonplanet.tv membership. 11 people can use it. Share it with friends and family. It's only $5.95 a month. That helps pay for the bandwidth, the crew, the cameras, the reporters. You see how we've been expanding thanks to your support and your help. Get a prisonplanet.tv membership. See all my films in HD, the nightly news, a lot of other documentaries, and so much more. PrisonPlanet.tv. We're fighting the prison planet with PrisonPlanet.tv. Now, I want to thank those of you that are members. Go to InfoWarsLife.com. We're running a detox special with the Fluoride Shield Chelating Detox, discounted massively with the new Survival Shield X2 uh, Nation Iodine, the only deep earth crystal form that we know of existing. Believe me, we tried to find it. It was hard. And it just has such an amazing effect on me and my family. You can see videos on the website with Dr. Group breaking down uh, the effects of this and, and, and why they put all the bad halogens in the food and the water, but take the iodine out. And when there is iodine, it's the bound type. This is the true nascent iodine. Turns into a purple gas. We tested other iodines before manufacture. They don't do that. This is the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. Research iodine science and you'll find out what we're talking about. Infowarslife.com to see the still shots, the videos, and more. The Super Detox specials, more than 30% off when you get both bottles together. A lot of other specials. We're going to sell out this week of the lung cleanse. It'll be another month till more of that comes in. Uh, just a lot of great products at Infowarslife.com. And then, of course, at InfoWarsStore.com, hundreds of books and films, Made in America, Pro-Liberty Apparel, to meet like-minded people and to promote freedom and to support the broadcast. Everything we do has to benefit the InfoWar, raising human awareness and consciousness to what's happening, support you, be high quality, and support us. I only believe in win-win-wins. I only, I'm obsessed with it. And I noticed my whole life I've done that. That's why I've been successful and I sleep well at night. But now I'm more and more become totally obsessed with it. I mean, it's got to be a win, 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 win. And everything at InfoWars.com, at PrisonPlanet.com, at InfoWarsStore.com, at InfoWarsHealth.com, at InfoWarsLife.com is a win, 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 win. That is my philosophy. With the globalist, they'll go 100 miles out of their way to make sure you don't get anything from them. We've all run into people that don't like making you dinner, don't like making you feel good, don't like, uh, don't have hospitality. The type of people that, that really enjoy thinking they get something, you get nothing. And that's the New World Order predatory philosophy. And, and, and there's a battle for the future of this planet. DavidIke.com is his website. We're very honored to have him on with us today. I'm trying to give him the floor now and let him break down all the questions I've thrown out about what is this next level the elite are moving into. In the football game analogy, we are seeing a big awakening, but uh, where does he expect all this to go? David Ike. Well, it's been a progression. Um, clearly um along a road going way back you know uh, people like uh, george orwell and aldous huxley with 1984 and brave new world they weren't coming from their imagination um entirely or, or even much of it they were coming from a point of view of having access to the projected agenda and they both said that they both said that in public white papers yeah. and you know i in in in, in my uh, last couple of books i um quoted a, a, a man called dr richard day uh, who was a uh, a, a rockefeller insider he was um a, a, an executive of planned parenthood and um in um 1969 he uh was addressing a, a, a meeting of pediatricians in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And for some reason, only he knows, he asked people to not take notes and not um, record anything because he was going to tell them how the world was going to change. And what he then did was um, tell them what was coming and why. 
And one of the pediatricians did take notes and later did some um, some interviews before he died explaining what this Richard Day said. And what Richard Day described, and remember, 1969, you know, it's, it's what, what, 20 years after Orwell, um, and he was describing the world we're living in today or moving more and more in today in all aspects of society. This is a plan that is projected forward in great detail. Um, therefore, um, what's uh, coming is what they plan to come, and that will be upping the ante. It will be increasing the pressure. It will be moving further along the road in all these different areas, everything from GMO and food to uh, uh, additives like that to, to the radiation agenda, which is phenomenal. You mentioned iodine a few minutes ago, Alex. Um, millions and millions and millions of times uh, more radiation technologically generated than there was 50 years ago that we're now uh, kind of living in, like this sea of technological radiation. And, and given that we have an electromagnetic field, an electromagnetic level, that is going to impact and does impact upon us. And if the electromagnetic level, the electromagnetic field, which some people call the auric field, is disrupted by technological radiation, that plays through into the body as a distortion and a disruption, and we call that mental or emotional or physical dis-ease. So it's, it's progressing, just as we can, we can look back and see how it's progressed. But of course, there are certain points where it progresses very fast because of events that are orchestrated. And of course, the best um, example of that is 9-11, where the agenda moved forward more in the, the 10 years after 9-11 than it, it had in a lot longer time before that. And when Cheney's talking about um, uh, uh, another 9-11, when Lindsey Graham, um, when he opens his mouth, just like John McCain, he is speaking the cabal's uh, agenda. He's talking about another 9-11. Uh, over here, we're getting just the same, Alex, with um, the, the Prime Minister, David Cameron, uh, warning about, oh, we, we, we've, we've got to uh, increase surveillance because of the terrorists coming back to, to Britain. We've got this guy today, Liam Fox. Liam Fox is a British politician who's, who's simply an agent of Israel. That's all he is. He's an agent of Israel. Um, and he um, has come out today and said, we, we, we need to have more surveillance, uh, etc., more big brother, in effect, to, to meet the challenge from, from jihadists coming back to, to Britain. So we, we are um, facing this, this, this fork in the road between the free thinkers and between those that just accept the agenda and download it, you know, bar by bar, bar. Um, and th the number that go that way or that way will decide where we go as a, as a human race. Because we, we've, we've shown when they wanted to uh, move the, uh, the Syrian um, invasion, which is what it is, uh, in fact, they wanted to move that along because it was behind the timeline. People opposing that stopped that, uh, that bombardment and affected the agenda because you know people like you and me and and, and all the others that do this um the, the idea is not to be proved right it's for what um the agenda is not to happen it's about using that information to head off what's happening and and so um it's not um just about you know watching your own prison being built oh look oh yeah oh they put the roof on now look you see that i told you they do that didn't i it, we need to stop the roof going on and one of the things that, that is fundamental to that is that we put down the fault lines of divide and rule. Because what's happening in the Muslim world in the Middle East is just classic divide and rule. And we have different uh, factions of politics. We have religions played off against each other. We have, you know, scientific belief systems played off against religious belief systems. We need to put that down and say, hold on a second. There's a common theme here, and that's that we're all the target for this unfolding global fascist agenda. And therefore, you know, if we don't come together now and put down our differences and focus on, on what should unite us all, and that's what is going to affect us all and is affecting us all, then when we're in some concentration camp eventually, if we get that far, then we can have a lovely discussion over who's got the best religion and who's got the best politics and who's got the best whatever. But by then it will be too late. 
Um, and what they want, if, if, you're, if you're targeting